Um, I wish I had a whiteboard here because I could I could actually go into some of the um, the technical background of why I tend to use higher bit rates and higher sample rates. Um, I basically do everything at 24 bit, and and the and the reason is really to maximize the signal to noise ratio, maximize headroom. Um, the you know even if the deliverable, which in most cases for me it's either a CD or or um, you know audio files that are going to be married to a film, uh, the the end deliverable is usually 16 bits. That's usually the 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 final format. Um, but uh, in terms of uh, in terms of recording, in terms of the processing, uh, I would never do anything in, in less than 24 bits. Uh, the reason is because um, even even you know if I'm using a convolution reverb or any kind of effect, uh, when you when you use fewer bits of resolution, um, there is sort of a, a compounding effect, and um, Again, it's 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 a little difficult for me to describe in words. It's much easier if I actually, you know, if I had something like a whiteboard, I could actually go into the math behind it. But uh, I always do everything at 24 bits. In terms of sampling rate, it's a little more complicated. Um, if I if what I'm doing is going to end up on a CD, um, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for me to do it at say 96k. Uh, usually, what I do is I look at what what is the target sample rate going to be, and then I'll do an integer multiple of that. Uh, it, in order for the math to work out right, uh, to not have you know messy remainders and so on. Um, so in the case of a CD, 44.1 kilohertz, uh, kilo samples per second. That is, um, you know, a lot of times I'll do 88.2. Uh, for films, typically 48k is the is the target sample rate. So I'll do I'll do my recordings at 96k. Um, 192. There's actually an interesting. There was a white paper that was published. Um, by might have been Daking, I forget, uh, in the past couple of years, where he actually presents his treatise for why 192 is not better than 96k, and um, in fact there are some liabilities to using 192. Now I haven't looked at the paper in a while, and I don't recall whether I fully agree with him. But uh, the the problem again with using higher sample rates. Um, is that it, it does, you know, you, you have more samples um, per unit time, so you do end up with a lot more data on your hard drive. So it becomes an issue of, of data management. Um, for me, what I find is the, the, the main, one of the, okay, so rewind a second. Okay, one of the main benefits of using a higher sample rate is that, um, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the Nyquist theorem, that basically uh, to minimize the likelihood of aliasing, you have to use uh, a sample rate that's that's um, twice that of the maximum frequency that you want to capture. So, in the case of you know 44 kilo samples per second, it gives you a, a ceiling of 22 kilohertz. Um, the problem is that there's also what's known as group delay, which is the change in phase as a function of frequency for the output filter. It's caused by the output filter of the DAC. So, whenever you have um, at the output of your of your audio converter, there's what's called an anti-aliasing filter, and depending on the sample rate, the lower the sample rate, the higher the order of the filter. And so, for like on a CD player, for example, typically you have a, a filter that's like a ninth order filter, which causes some really bad phase artifacts. So, the higher the sample rate, the less phase distortion you get. And when you get up to say 96k. You effectively have very little um, phase distortion, and what you do have is pushed out of the audio band. It's above 20 kilohertz, so at that point you can't hear it anyway. So you, you effectively have, um, you know, no perceivable uh, group delay or or uh, phase distortion. So long long story short, um, I try to use as high a sample rate as I can, uh, keeping in mind the disk considerations. So uh, disk space considerations. So for me, that usually means 88.2 or 96 kilo, kilo samples per second. Um, and uh, in terms of bit rate, uh, sorry, in terms of bit depth, 24 bit always.